Hello and welcome to our SCP CSAM Exchange Recovery Pro tutorial video. My name is Peter Leitner and I'm going to take you through the steps that are required to successfully recover an email or any other single object in your Exchange server environment. First of all, please make sure that you have the following components installed in your machine. Outlook 32 bits, Exchange Recovery Pro and the SCP CSAM GUI. You'd best do this on your SCP CSAM server or remote device server to have the ability to mount your safe sets. So before starting off, let's open Outlook and select one email that we want to re recover later. So we've got this email here written by Aaron Malone and yeah, let's just take a uh, snip of that and then we'll delete that email. So that email is gone and to get it back you need to open the SCP CSAM GI, click restore on your desired exchange backup. Well, let's expand that. This is our last backup. You can select any backup type, just like incremental here. Select Recovery Pro for Exchange. Next. Then select the folder of your mailbox database. And then the mount action is going to take place. So this makes sure that the files required to get back your email are there. After clicking Next, you end up in this wizard step here which is the point in time to yeah minimize your SCP CSAM GI since the safe set is now mounted and you've got that shortcut here called SPRPEX on your desktop if you double click that it's gonna open and pre-select the mounted yeah, exchange backup click finish that here and the sources are going to be displayed. So this is the content of your backup of your exchange server at the, at the point of backup. Let's just open that mailbox in the inbox. And that's the email we wanted to recover. So let's yeah, just maybe sort by creation date. And there we go, Aaron Malone's email. So next to have it back, we need to connect to our target, which is the operating exchange server. So enter your credentials in the wizard step we just saw, and uh, then it's going to be connecting to your exchange environment, which is your live operative environment. Then you're going to see all the mail mailboxes. Let's open up this one here and select the inbox. So this is the live exchange inbox. So all the emails from the user will be shown in the bottom of this window. And you all, all you have to do is just click that thing and drag and drop it into the folder of your choice. Yeah, after it's been copied successful, click close and that's it. So you can open up your Outlook client and see the email is back and if we compare it to our screenshot it's completely equal that's just the element well you can also create a new folder let's call that one restore Aaron Malone and into this we can just well select any elements of our choice and drag and drop them into the folder we just created and after that's finished click close you can see the items in there and in your Outlook client there is the new folder you just created and even, even the state of your emails if they were read or unread is restored so yeah, just enjoy this wonderful feature. In case you've got a password protected mailbox, 
which you cannot browse. You may just export it as a PST file. You get your PST file containing the elements you just chose and it's ready for import in your Outlook client. And you may just import it into Outlook just as usual. Open Outlook data file, select the file from the desktop in this case, and that's pretty much it. You're able to browse the file. You can also extract email attachments directly out of the application. This way you can save a lot of time because you don't have to restore the email itself if you only need its attachment. Let me show you how this works. Let's go back to the Aaron Malone inbox. Select an email with an attachment. Click the attachment sign. Save attachments. Let's save that one to the desktop. Okay. Yeah. And there we've got it. It's on our desktop. Last of all, click File and Exit. And the final finish button in the restore wizard of the SAP Zism GI. Then the save set gets unmounted. After that's finished, click next, and that's it. I hope you enjoyed this short walkthrough SAP Recovery Pro for Exchange. It really makes a backup administrator's life a whole lot easier when it comes to the restore. See you in the next video.